Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're gonna be blasting some killer, killer doom from Stygian Crown on Transylvanian Recordings. Alright, if you're a fan of Candlemas, imagine Candlemas, but with female vocals. And pretty much, you have Stygian Crown self-titled, which is amazing. Is it doom? Is it heavy metal? This is what I like to consider just heavy metal doom. Yeah, I, I don't fucking know. It's just awesome doom. And honestly, like, if you like early candle mass and like, if you're a Crypt Sermon fan, Imagine if Crip Sermon had the vocalist from The Devil's Blood. And that's pretty much Stygian Crown. There's this weird, like, breakdown here, but then it gets fucking super, super doomy and awesome. Listen. This is fucking some essential fucking doom right here. It has some heavy metal aspects to it. It's fucking great. If touring ever comes back, here's what I want to see. Eternal Champion touring with Stygian Crown and Summerlands. Because uh, Summerlands have a new vocalist now, so yeah, maybe we can, that would, to me, that's like a perfect tour. And I've seen Eternal Champion twice with Crip Sermon, and both times were incredible. But I'm a big, big, like, Candlemas fan, and it does bum me out. I don't have any of their recordings anymore. But, like, hearing something like this, just wow. Like, seriously, wow. And again, James at Transylvanian Recordings. Like, how did you find this band? It's amazing. It, it's just, it boggles my mind that. They're American as well, like, I figured this had to be from the UK. 
but nope. You have Melissa Pinion on vocals and synth, Nelson Thomas Miranda on lead guitar, Jason Thomas on bass, Andy Hicks on lead guitar, and Rhett Davis on drums. The cover arts by Misanthropic Art. I like that little sigil thing. Badass. Doom upon you all. Oh, this, this is so good. Like, seriously. If you like heavy metal and you like Doom, it, it's, yeah, this is some essential fucking listening. I'm trying to see if this, like, is on another label as well, like, you know, maybe there's a vinyl version of it, but you have The Hall of Two Truths, Devour the Dead, Up from the Depths, Through Divine Right, the B-side starts with Flame Tongue, When Old Gods Die, Trampled into the Earth, and Two Coins for the Ferryman. Hell yeah. Stitch and Crown does not fuck around. Killer riffing, everything about this is awesome so far. Like, just listen to that! Fuck! Some like Solitude Eternus, like, it's fucking dialed. Like, if Candlemas ever needs a new vocalist, I would hit Melissa up, yo, for real. I think she would sound great, like, yeah, definitely, I, I can hear, like, Demon's Gate perfectly with her voice, and I would honestly love to hear, like, a band like Stitching Crown cover that song. What's how cool this is? Transylvanian recordings for some reason still have copies of this bad boy available and if you're a fan of doomy heavy metal come on you heard it and I played it loud for a reason because I can't edit I want you folks to hear this because I know some folks don't Go and check the Bandcamp links. Seriously, if you're a fan of Candlemas, The Devil's Blood, Solitude Eternus, you can't go wrong here. Like, seriously, this is one of probably my favorite non-death metal Transylvanian recordings releases. And that is saying a lot, like... I really love the False Figure release, but, like, this is way more up my alley when it comes to just, like, as much as I love death metal, like, I'm a big, big fan of early Candlemas and bands that worship Candlemas. 
and that's just the way I prefer to listen to uh, certain non-funeral doom releases. Like, I like that kind of heavy metal style of doom. And there's a lot of bands that do it extremely fucking well from my area, and I think that's fucking awesome. But, like... Eternal Champion, you know, their new record reissues are coming out next month. So, I'm hoping I can get a copy for the channel. I do have, like, a trade, like, I already did a while back. But we haven't been able to find a copy of the record. So, I'm pretty sure it's taken care of, like, but if not, no matter what, I'm gonna try and get a copy, like, no, I, I don't care if I have to, you know, sell some shit, like, I don't wanna, I'm not missing, I'm not missing it, like, uh, I saw that Ghastly has a new record coming out on 20 bucks spin, now, again, you might not know this, Ghastly is a, another one of those death metal bands I really fucking like. And, yeah, they were on MSUO before, in case you did not know. I love this fucking record. It doesn't even look like a death metal record. It really subverts your expectations. Like, if you didn't know, and you just grabbed this from a record store... And you were expecting, like, you know, some sleep Black Sabbath worship. You're looking in the wrong place. Because this is some weird Finnish death metal. And I always liked this MSUO version. Karen of Time. A strange combination of love and disgust. From 2014. On MSUO. Very, very weird, yet awesome Finnish death metal. Their new stuff sounded a little bit more just like a straight up death metal song. It didn't sound as like weird, but I'm sure the rest of the record, you know, will be weird. But I'm just showing some ghastly off because I saw that they have a new record coming out on 20 bucks spin. But this is their um, MSUO release, Karen of Time. Here's Death Valor. And this is one of those records, again, just look at that cover art. It's fucking gorgeous. Now a three-piece as well, but the color of this, like, this is one of my favorite, like, variants and i like how 20 bucks spin like they'll put the inside of the vine like the inside of the record sleeve will be like the same color and i think that's fucking cool it just adds an extra concept to the cosmetics like the whole color scheme and i really hope with like them releasing a new ghastly record they'll do another run of the ghastly long sleeves. I slept on those. They, they were expensive, honestly. And uh, they're probably, they'll probably be more expensive. But I shouldn't have slept on it. But this is like one of, in my opinion, the coolest fucking color variants in my collection. And like you get a piece of the cover art. It, it's just, it's fucking gorgeous. But the record itself is just a killer slab of death metal and just weirdness. Like, it's like psychedelic death metal. It's super fucking cool. I really, really like it. Especially just every track on here, but Scarlet Woman, that song is so fucking badass. And The Magic of Severed Limbs, just really good stuff. Very obscure, weird-sounding death metal from Finland. Ghastly. But their new record on 20 bucks spin. I really, really can't wait. But back to the subject at hand. Stygian Crown. 
on Transylvanian recordings. This is when it was still Transylvanian tapes. This is legit one of the best releases James put out. I love it. And like I said, imagine Candlemas with the vocalist from The Devil's Blood. And yeah, it's awesome. Seriously awesome. Stygian Crown, self-titled. Fuck yes. If you're a fan of, like I said, doom-ridden heavy metal. There it is. I was looking for the perfect combo. That sounds pretty perfect to me to sum up Stygian Crown in two words. Or three words. Yeah, three words. No, more than three words. Doom-riddled heavy metal. Four words. Fuck. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, this is a fucking beast. I really hope this has a vinyl release somewhere. Or somewhere down the line. But the fact that this isn't sold out boggles my mind. So, I'm gonna put links in the video description. If you're in the cassettes and you like some fucking doom... Don't sleep on this, because it's fucking awesome. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Thank you, James. I'm sorry it took so long to get to that. I still have a few more Transylvanian tapes. Uh, I meant Transylvanian recordings, tapes to go over. And, um, yeah, there are some good ones. It's just, I've been kind of bushwhacked, and I've been trying to get to them. I wanted to get to this a while back, but I kind of got caught up in a little death metal shuffle. Like, I just was listening to a lot of death metal and wasn't really listening to a lot of doom, and then I just went back to listening to this a few days ago and realized, oh, fuck, I didn't review this yet, and I'm stoked as shit because I get to talk about it with you maniacs. Stygian Crown on Transylvanian recordings. Fucking wow. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hey,